Okay, this video is for the mole concept. We're going to start off with a dozen, something that is a more comfortable unit for you to learn from. So let's say we're going to a store and we're going to be looking at some quantities at our store, uh, just like what we're about to do in chemistry. So quantities in chemistry relate to the mole, and we're going to start with a dozen. So we look at the store here, and everything we want to buy, let's click this here. It looks to me like it's eight fifty per dozen. Okay, and let's look at pretzels here. Pretzels are six forty per dozen. So it looks like all of these things are per dozen. Cookies are five dollars and ninety cents per dozen. Okay, so the store sells everything by dozen. So we have to be able to handle uh, conversions using do dozens. So let's take a look at our first couple questions here. How many dozens are in thirty-four pretzels? Okay, well, we can do a bridge method on this. On this cliff here, we'll put 34 pretzels, and I'll abbreviate that as a PZ. And the right side over here, we want to know how many dozen that is. Equal sign. Well, I know that every one dozen is 12 items. So then what I'm going to do then is I'm going to put one dozen on top, and I'll put that over 12 uh, pretzels on the bottom. So whatever unit is on top on the right side, you guys know that you put that on top in the middle. Whatever unit is on the left side goes on the bottom of this relationship. So we cross off our pretzels. Okay, and mathematically we're going to take 34 and we'll divide that by 12. And our answer comes out to be 2.8 dozen. Now most things aren't bought in decimals of dozens, but I want you to be okay handling decimals because in the mole we're going to need to do that. Okay, next. What is the cost of 3.5 dozen baguettes? Okay, so I'm going to put uh, 3.5 dozen on this side. I put my equal sign over here. And of course, I would like dollars on this side. How much money? Now, it might not be a bad idea to put the baguettes here. I'll do BG here, just so that we remember what we're looking for. Okay, when we go to the bakery. Because now we're going to have to go to the bakery because we want to talk about cost. It's not just how many items we have. So let's go back to the bakery. And again, what are the price per dozen for baguettes? Uh, baguettes are $18.50 per dozen. Okay, so let's go back over here. Now this time we want dollars on top. So I'm going to put $18.50 on top. So $18.50. And that'll be divided by one dozen this time. And again, we should probably put BG so we remember what we're looking at. So that's going to cross off our dozen baguettes. And mathematically, what we're doing now is we're going to take 3.5 and we'll multiply that by 18.50. And that is $64, okay, and 75 cents. Kind of expensive, but you're getting a lot of baguettes for that. Okay, so now that's how we're handling the dozen. And notice how the word dozen is in both questions there. Okay, so we have just a very simple relationship when that's true. Now next one. How many cookies can you buy with $10? Okay, let's start our bridge over here. Now I'm going to put my value here, so $10. So I'm putting my dollar sign there. And I go over here. I'm going to make this a longer bridge, and there's a reason for that. Okay, now we want how many cookies we want. I'll just make that CKs. This is going to be a two-step because we don't have a dozen yet. See, there were a dozen in both of these questions here, but the word dozen does not appear. So we're going to need a two-step uh, calculation because we're going to have to convert into dozen first. Okay, in order to figure out this question. Let's see how this works. Let's go back. Okay, what's the price per dozen cookies? That's five dollars and ninety cents. Okay, so let's go back here. So then I'm gonna have to go one dozen right here over five dollars and ninety cents. Now what I've done is I've successfully converted dollars into dozen. Okay, because I know there are twelve cookies. Okay, per one dozen. And again, I'm abbreviating cookies as CK here, and the dozen crosses off. Notice how we have one dozen on top here and one dozen on the bottom over there. We need to be in cookies on the top right side here because that's what we're looking for. Notice how always whatever is on the left side goes on the bottom here. And notice how the dozen 
is on top here, goes on the bottom down here. Always in that fashion. So now mathematically, what am I going to do? I'm going to take 10. I'm going to divide that by 5.9 because that gives me how many dozen I have. And I'm going to times that by 12. Okay, and that gives me uh, 20.3 cookies. Now remember, we're not going to have uh, decimal cookies probably in reality, but I want you to be uh, very familiar with uh, using decimals with the mole concept. Let's try just a couple more and make sure we got this. How many dozen cupcakes can you buy for $14? Okay, so now I'm going to make $14 over here. <clears throat> this is my bridge. And on the right side, these are cupcakes. So I'm just going to label that as CUPs, cups, <laughs> okay? But they're really cupcakes. I like to abbreviate sometimes my units. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this up here. Okay, and put our equal sign there. Okay, this is going to be a one-stepper because I got the word dozen in there. So times, all right, like this, okay? Well, I'm going to have to visit the bakery again because I don't know the price per dozen. So I go there, and these are cupcakes. Let me click on them. That's eight dollars and fifty cents per dozen. Okay, so eight dollars and fifty cents per dozen. So I'm going to put over here, and uh, let's make sure we put dozen here because that's what we're trying to go through. So I'm going to put does there. So that's eight dollars and fifty cents here on the bottom, and on top one dozen, and that's for cupcakes. And again, I'm abbreviating it as cups. Okay, so dollars cross off. Mathematically, I'm going to take 14 divided by 850. So 14 divided by 850, that gives me a dollar, let's see, 1.65 dozen. 1.65 dozen cupcakes. There you go. All right, and the last question here, how much would 28 cakes cost? Notice how the word dozen is not in this question. So this one's going to have to be a two-stepper. Here we go. So I'm going to put 28 cakes here. My abbreviation cakes were a CK. Okay, and I need dollars on this side here. Okay. All right, so the first step here is I need to convert this into dozen again. Notice how that's a common theme. I must always convert the dozen in order to make my comparison. So one dozen cupcakes, okay, divided by 12 cupcakes. All right, now I have to go to my bakery because I don't know the cost per dozen cupcakes. Or I think that was cakes. Let's make sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, those were cakes. So let me click on cakes here. Cakes is $125 uh, dollars per dozen. It's still kind of cheap. $125 per dozen. So then I'm going to put uh, $125.00 dollars per one dozen cakes. Okay. And that's what we're going to do. Remember the equal sign says, are you in dollars? You say, well, yes, I am. So I'll take 28 divided by 12 and times that by 125. That's $291.67. So 291.67. Okay. And that's the problem solving, okay, with the mole. Uh, the next video I'm going to create is going to be actually dealing with moles. And you're going to see that the comparison of problem solving is very, 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 very similar.